come back to the table to reconsider um, a meeting between? First, uh, we still, the door to diplomacy still remains open. Um, and it just, as I think our foreign, our uh, Secretary of State conveyed, it isn't the appropriate time as Russia is taking escalatory steps. Uh, and preparing to invade for him to meet with the foreign minister. Um, and, and it had always been the intention that any engagement with President Putin would be discussed there and potentially fellow there, but there were never any specific plans or timeline really in the works for that. So it was really going to be discussed at that meeting. What diplomacy looks like, one, we're going to continue to engage with our European partners, of course, uh, and we will continue to uh, remain open uh, to, uh, to uh, having diplomatic conversations uh, once, if and when they de-escalate. And as we said, I think over the course of the last few days, uh, he's always going to be open to having leader-to-leader -leader conversations. But this isn't the time to do it when, and we said this at the time as well, when they are, when President Putin is overseeing the uh, invasion of a of a of a sovereign country. And just quickly, it was such a threat. Why in May did the president waive sanctions? Uh, we have a range of options that remain on the table. Um, significant. Uh, uh, that would have a significant and, and, uh, and devastating impact on the Russian economy. We've already seen in the Russian economy the impact on inflation there uh, and on the markets there of the expectation of these, uh, of these uh, sanctions. But all of those options remain on the table, and I can't make a prediction of what's next. Go ahead. Support for Ukraine into a more partisan issue among the U.S. public. 